Ten years ago, my sim partner and I are sitting in a cold 737 NG sim getting our type rating training to eventually go and take our, our type rating check ride. And um, we're doing one of our very first sim sessions, full motion sim sessions. And the instructor tells us that, okay, here comes a hot start. And I'm in the captain's seat and I'm supposed to bring the engine start lever to cut off because little did I know the EEC, electronic engine controller, it doesn't close the fuel valve for you to protect you against a hot start. It will only close the fuel valve for you after the hot start has already occurred. So basically, here comes a hot start. And I end up not putting the start lever to cut off and the, and, and the instructor basically, what, what are you doing? How come you didn't cut it off? What are you doing? Don't you know you're supposed to turn the start lever off? You, you guys just fried the engine. Then you just, and he goes off on this rant. And I learned two things, okay? Number one, apparently you got to cut the start lever off on your own because there's no hot start protection until after the fact. That's the first thing. Second thing, I learned how not to give instruction. That's how you would not deliver training because that's not training. That's that's not instruction. That's reprimanding. And what I figured out was very quickly that if you do that to anybody in a training environment, they will quickly close up on you mentally. They do not want to hear you anymore. And frankly, they're not they're they're not lo looking for the break time of the sim. They're looking for the sim to be over with. Like usually every four hours at the two hour mark, we take a break. Well, when you're receiving that kind of instruction, you would rather just get the sim done. So for all my instructors out there that think reprimanding is training, do your students a favor and don't do that. For all of you that are 737 uh, pilots, you likely know by this point, if you're type rated, the EEC on the NG, it will not protect you from a hot start. It will close the fuel valve after the hot start has already occurred, but it's up to you to put the start lever to the cutoff position. All right, little story from 10 years back when I was getting my type rating on the NG. Hope this message finds you well. Hope you and your family are well, and I hope you visit us at onestepprep.com. Joe Munoz the name, Juan and Joe the JJ, all day. We'll see you in Miami.